Hello again, everybody. This is Rob Bobberty, and welcome to Damon Detective Gaiden 2. Now, this is a game made by Yale. Y-A-L. I don't know how to pronounce it. Uh, but this developer made this entire game. Graphics, audio, coding, everything. And it's actually really fun. Um, I was going to just play a few minutes and make sure I could record it correctly and it ran good in my system and all that. And I ended up playing through the first level. <laughs> Um, so I'm going to start at the beginning just to kind of get an idea. Uh, one of the things is you can kind of tell here, you could play up to four players local. And I'm using an Xbox controller that works great on it. I do have like another controller that's an older one that doesn't like automatically get identified, but there's ways to make that work and you can also use keyboards. So it would be easy enough to do it. Uh, first thing is you have eight, um, looks like eight to begin with and four hidden ones to choose from. Uh, characters to play. You have Yell, which I still know how to pronounce. Uh, whip Attacks, Canine Whip Attacks, Sugar, <laughs> uh, Self-Proclaimed Detective. Sugar, over-caffeinated little sister, hurt enemies on contact while running, bullets still hurt you. Matt, the brains of the team with unmatched aerial ability, can double jump once in midair. Aniko, Countess with a degree in sorcery, holds skill to charge a magic attack that chases enemies. Um, there are a lot of weapons in this game. You, like you can see here, they each have their own special skills, um, different ways they, they operate, but there are weapons you find. It, this game is kind of a platformer. It is reminiscent of a lot of Mario games. It also is kind of reminiscent of Mario 64 and Castlevania and Ninja Gaiden and, and uh, like 15 other things. It's got a lot of stuff in Oh, and Mega Man, that's another one, because <laughs> it actually has a very Mega Man-ish weapon in it. Uh, tomato, focused but shy healer. Press skill to summon the power of the world, blocking bullets and attacking enemies. That sounds like a useful skill. Chibi, Chibi, vampire with a heart of gold, drains HP from enemies and can slow her fall with bat wings. Page, young paladin in training, very high HP, extra range and power from sword cutter power-ups. Penguin Cop, random foot folk from the NMCPD. Weak, but you get two for the price of one. It revives quickly in co-op, too. I don't remember what NMCPD means. It's, it was on there somewhere. I'm going to take Matt, because I did not play him yet, and I always like a good double jump. But yeah, it is a co-op, up to four players. I don't know if the difficulty scales with that. New, oh, NM is, New Magma is the NMCPD, or NMPD, whatever. Uh, the Art Museum. I skipped some stuff at the beginning, but I don't think it's too important for the story, so I'm just going to leave that off. I also have... Uh, actually, you know what? I could... I was just thinking. I, I, I recorded a little bit with, with uh, one of the first boss because it's kind of cool. It's got like a very large screen boss. Uh, exhibition of newly recovered something art. I was talking instead of reading. Okay. Is it waiting for me to do something? I don't remember. Oh. Yeah, that's kind of a interesting art piece. <laughs> Everybody's been turned to art. Okay. There's a little bit of exposition in the beginning here. <coughs> Pardon me. I don't know if I don't think I can skip it here though. The boss is calling. It's really well made. It, it really is reminiscent of playing like Mario games back to like Super Mario World, Mario, Super Mario Bros. 3, things like that as far as controls and it's got all kinds of power-ups. But it's also got some other elements and like here you can see it, this is where it kind of is a, a bit like Super Mario, uh, Mario 64. Matt, we just received the message from headquarters. What is the current situation, Mr. Lloyd? A large number of people were reported missing yesterday evening, and they all visited this art exhibition at some point during the day. We've requested cell dumps, but their phones can't be found anywhere in the city, and the last known location was right here, so this suggests they never left the museum. I'm not really a superstitious type, but something is just off of these paintings. I'm suspecting there is some sort of demonic involvement in this case. HQ told me you guys know a thing or two about cursed paintings. You should give them a closer look and see what you can find. There's one over there on the right. Maybe you should start with that. Okay, this is where it's kind of like Mario 64. Uh, you have a painting you can jump into, and you collect paintings that you find in the paintings, and that enables you to go into more paintings. And there are a lot. And this room seems like it's bigger than it should be, <laughs> because 
It seems to take too long to go in a circle here. <laughs> yeah. We picked. I don't know who that guy is. A bunch of weird people. Uh, yeah, the whole. I like how the whole police force has this, like... Yeah, this room is much bigger than it should be. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> it took a while to get back there. Uh, the first group, or the first painting, is Hilltop Ruins. And Hilltop Ruins... And the uh, the game is, is 2D, but it's just like this uh, overworld area that's like a uh, that's reminiscent of uh, Mario 64 and it's basic stuff run and jump controls seem to work good yeah I like a double I like a good double jump because I'm bad at jumping and stuff I'm bad at platforming so so yeah you've got you know you've got you got the basic Mario tropes you've got coins you've got coin blocks you've got jumping on enemies then you got weapons this first one I think is the whip yeah, and I don't know why I'm dressed up like a duck, I think. And, like, it's... Yeah, if you do uh, the one character, you can, like, aim the whip up and down, which gives it a little more control. And use the attack button to run. So you get through that. Check marks. Oh, I didn't quite make it. There we go. And let's see. I did play through all of this. Oh, oh. Take a few hits. I forgot. Yeah. What is this one? Oh yeah, fire! Fire breath. Uh, there. Yeah. Press Y or Shift, and you can switch back to the current weapon. You can always have one one weapon on reserve. I was very confused by that though. It took me a while to figure out like, because if you have two weapons and then you pick up a new weapon, you're gonna lose one of the ones you had. It took me a minute to figure that out. I'm still I still kind of screwed up. I have to like stop and think about it. So I don't lose the current weapon, if, one of the current weapons, if I want to. Kind of, yeah, you can sneak through here, get that painting. So each world has like three paintings. Oh, shoot, I thought that was a hole. <laughs> each world has three paintings, and it, it kind of reminds me of the uh, uh, Yoshi coins, because there's three, and some of them are kind of hidden. You don't need to get them all, but the more you get, the more paintings in the art the muse art museum you'll be able to unlock so that's kind of cool um i actually think I, I might just drop back to the one i already played just to show you a little more of what you can do actually i might just jump to the to the main guy and just play that and then that'll be the end of the video if someone wants to see a full playthrough of it of this i'd like to do it because it's fun because i'm already like i've already been playing it i couldn't remember how to do it on here uh i forgot what i was saying uh, I really like playing it. I already got, uh, like I said, just trying to um, play a little bit just to get an idea of it. I ended up going through the first level, <laughs> the entire first world there, the hilltop one. Uh, I want to do someone I didn't do. Uh, y'all, y'all, y'all. I wish I knew how to pronounce your name. Y'all, 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 y'all. <laughs> I don't think it's y'all. <laughs> y'all. Um, y'all is nice because it's a nice basic one. You can aim the aim the aim the whip in that. Uh, but these other ones have like more extreme things that are still kind of nice. Uh, I did that one before. She, <laughs> pardon me. She has like a magic attack that, that like seeks out enemies, which is kind of nice. But you have like limited magic power. Penguin cop sounds kind of weird. <coughs> so you like get twice as many extra guys, kind of. I get, Oh no, you don't. No, you don't get extra guys necessarily in this. Uh, young paladin, you do it. Uh, I did not do this one yet. Extra range. Yeah, there's a sword one that's really nice. Uh, tomato. I want to see what summon the summon the power of the world blocking bolts. I just want to see what that is. Is that her hair or is she wearing? I, th I thought she was wearing like a frog hat. And I'm pretty sure I can play all the levels again, so I think I can go right right to the main guy here. Uh, as you can see, as you'll see in a, as you'll see in a moment here, there are a lot of oh, levels here. Did not get all the paintings. Might have just saw that. This is a nice little... Uh, this... <laughs> it's actually called uh, Reinforcements. <laughs> it's fun! <laughs> I love it! I love it! It's, it's the actual world! <laughs> I was expecting, like, dirt comes up or something. Um, and this one, they just, like, give you hints and stuff, which is kind of nice. Um, 
this guy sells you stuff. Oh yeah, you get you get coins and you can actually use the coins instead of like just collecting coins to get free guys. Uh, you go to this guy and you can use all the coins you've got, which I have none. Why do I have none? Shouldn't I have some left over? I don't know. Uh, yeah, da, ba, ba, ba. Oops, nope, nope, I don't have anything. Um, yeah, here's some of the weapons we can see. Uh, the violets are whips, or the whip, yeah, the whips, uh, the violets are whips, uh, melee attack, a metal whip, you know, there's, there's like better versions of each one. The carrot gives you a sword, basically, uh, and it gives you a nice big sweeping thing, and this one throws the sword, and that one throws it like a, like a, like a hammer brother axe. Uh, the leaves are shoot diagonally. Wait, I own nine of those. Wait, why do I own these? Where did I get those from? I miss... I don't know how I own those. Unless you keep them... I bought a couple things here, but I didn't know how to use it. I don't... I don't know. What else do I have here? What did I just... Wait. Okay. Uh, leaf is like different elemental attacks. Mecha Ball. A short-range projectile that goes through through walls. No effect on electrical enemies. It looks like... It's like uh, Mega Man's arm cannon. Uh, fire version, ice version. This one throws bombs. Balloon cake is interesting. It makes it so you float down, but you don't have any attack with it, so it's like it's useful for certain levels, but it's just kind of annoying. Uh, cat sunflower gives you a slash attack that lets you climb walls. I don't think I've used that one yet, but it was kind of sounds kind of neat. I did use this one. Um, I pl there's also a versus love not level versus mode where you can fight against each other, which is kind of cool using all these different attacks and that. So I saw some of these in there. Uh, this is weird. It, like you like split into a flock of hikori, which I guess are the skulls. I'm not sure what hikori are, and you attack when you do it. And rocket pack. I could not figure out figure out in the versus mode. Oh, build up momentum. That's why I couldn't get it to do. I was trying. I kept trying to use it, and nothing was happening. So that one you have to like build up momentum, kind of like uh, some of Mario's flying ones, like the uh, Tanuki suit. Transform into a giant crystal smashing anything in your way. Be careful about using it above flimsy platforms. Did not figure that one out either. I don't know how that one works. Uh, shield reduces damage. Magnet shield. Shield that tracks coins. Fire shield nullifies, nullifies fiber. Oh, I do have coins. Nullifies fire damage. Um, I have coins. I have no collected coins. It doesn't show me. Oh, no, no, no. I didn't mean to do that. I want my sword back. Give me the sword back. Uh, what do we got here? Uh, I don't know how to use... I keep hitting that because I'm trying to find the... I don't know how to use the stuff in my inventory. No, I didn't want to use you. I don't know how to do that. We have to figure that out. Maybe, if I hold... Maybe it's on this screen I have to do it. Oh, there we go. Inventory. Okay. Yeah, I don't know how I got these. Unless I got them like, for beating levels. Because I know I only bought one thing, and I think it was one of these. But I have... Oh, and you can use them on different people, too. Oh, you can put it away! Oh, that's awesome! So you can save them. I wonder if you collect... if you, Like, when I say you lose it, if you try to collect a third one, if it goes into your inventory, then that's actually kind of cool. Because in Mario, you'd always lose all the things you might need later. I'm just going to leave the sword on there and do that. Okay, I kind of like that. That's kind of cool. There was a train one that was kind of cool. Um, and then there's an asylum that's like kind of spooky looking and stuff. But we're just going to do Patient Zero, which is the first main guy for this. And this is kind of weird looking. Wow, that got a little loud. Um, yeah. Oh, no, I didn't mean to do that guy. Yeah. Patient Zero. <laughs> Die, yo. I didn't want to. Oh, I didn't want to. Whoa, hey, hey, I can do this. Oh. Ah, stop doing whatever you're doing there. I don't like it. How about you? Does this work for you? Oh, that, oh, you have to be close to me. Though. Oh, dang it. I'm going to die just because I'm, gonna, <laughs> I'm trying different things. Oh, very Mario-like ending there, too. Okay, so what do I have? I have this... I have the whip. I already had a whip, or I'm gonna get a whip again. I did beat it once, honestly. Probably can't do it again. Ah! Dang it! No! Oh, crap! I keep doing stupid stuff. 
It should be easier to beat just because I have just because I have him helping me, but I'm not doing good. Oh, I, I think they have different health too. I'm just realizing. So like some of them like you get killed a lot easier than you expect to, just because you're used to not. If you get if you play one with high health health, you get used to it uh, lasting longer. Dang. Shift. What are you gonna do now? Fireballs? Okay, Earth, could you uh, be more helpful and get out of my range a little bit? Ah, shoot! Forgot about that one. Ah, ah, shoot! I tried to get out of its way. I need a better weapon. If I had a better weapon here, it'd probably be easier. Oh crap! I did it again. Oh shoot! <laughs> Ah! Try to get a hit in and get away from him. Don't do the sludge. I can't avoid the sludge. I think I'm a... Uh, I'm not doing great, but I'm not doing awful. Which one is this? Oh, I don't like this one either because... These things turn into enemies if they hit the ground, so you end up with a lot of enemies. Or some of them do. I, I'm not entirely sure how that works. Oh, I died again. Oh, shoot. Let's see. I want to see. No, I can't. I'd have to go all the way back. I'd have to go all the way back to. Uh... Ah, shoot. This happened again. I would have to go all the way back to switch characters. I might be okay back here. As long as I'm... Whoa. Uh, I just got to watch out for the sludge. Yeah, he's kind of... He's geared to attack from the front. <laughs> I don't think he can hit me with some of the stuff. So this is kind of cheating, but I'm, I'm getting through it anyway. Yeah, that was actually a little cheaty. Did not get it through that way the first time. So, when you beat him, you get a piece of mirror or painting. Like the big painting, I guess. You obtain a painting fragment, which is like the big painting that sucked everyone in. So I guess, kind of again, a little bit Mario 64, and that's okay because they did it. Just did a good job of doing that. Um, so yeah, we've got all these places, all kinds of people to talk to, all kinds of other. There's so much stuff in this game; it's really cool. Uh, but I do want to show one thing here. Is this it? Nope. Who is this guy? Maha. Sage Maha. There was a time when the purpose of art was depicting things accurately. Those days now are long gone. Art is creative expression and intent alone is judged. I believe both intent and ex execution are necessary. Do only what you think is right and always do it fully. Any old fool can start something and give up. Mastery is the ability to know your limits and finish what you start. Okay. Thank you for your wise advice, I guess. There's... <laughs> This room is way too big. Oh, and that was the right one. I hit the wrong button. There's like a basement where you got to get keys for, and you can see in the upper right, I have one key that I found in the first, one of the first levels. Oh, there it is. You have to hit A. Um, and this one, you've got locked ones, so you got to find keys to do the locked ones. I don't know what's in here. And these guys actually give you hints on where the locked ones are. I'm not going to talk to them, though, or where the keys are. So that's kind of cool. So lots of little fun stuff in this game. I am curious to see, like, how the how the enemies get, because they're very large. Uh, I'm going to go back to the main menu. Enough extras. I don't know what that is. Defeat the final boss to unlock. You're probably, like, boss fights, I imagine. Which now That would be kind of cool if you can do, like, set up boss fights and custom fights and stuff and make it uh, um, co-op and stuff like that. BCRE lists everything you found, sound rooms, all the musics, all the musics, all the songs, and versus battle. You can do different stage layouts, theme songs, I guess, timer stock, items on and off, melee, ranged off. That's kind of cool. I didn't look through all those options before. Um, there's nothing really to show on that. I mean, it just... Oh, wait. I guess I could go in real quick. The last thing we do here, maybe. Uh, stock. I don't know what stock means. Does that mean how many guys you got? Let's see. Um, I do 
Okay, I need to have someone else in here, so I'll use the keyboard for that. Uh, let's see. I want to see the paladin. And it, it's kind of zoomed out, like the boss battle was. See, like... Oh, some of them... <laughs> Take that! Some of them uh, don't really have have weapon on their own, but then some of them have things like they're better with a certain weapon. Oh yeah, this is the cat one. I thought it was the... How do I... It said I could climb the walls or something, didn't it? Nope, that one. There it is. Do I need to hit the button? Okay, you gotta hit the uh, special button to do that. Can I attack while there? Nope. Oh! Oh yeah, here we go. Oh, this is what I wanted to do. This, this level's kind of hard to pick up speed. Oh, I'm hitting the wrong button, too. Whee! There it is. Whoa. Do, oh, it goes... It only goes... Uh, horizontally, so it's kind of hard to... Whee! <laughs> That's fun. Okay. And we can look at all the other weapons. Is this the Mega Man one? Oh, I explode! That's awesome! I love it! <laughs> that's a great power. Oh, yeah, we each got one guy. So that's where the stock is. And this is... Oh! See, a lot of these are hard to find in levels. <laughs> that's fun. Uh, waiting for some more weapons, though. Oh, there's there's a bomb. Yeah, they each have different levels. There's one that's just a bomb, and then there's one that's... Like, that's... uh. Meow. There's one that can just get lets you throw bombs, and then there's one that lets you blow up, basically. There's the sword. I was waiting for the sword. Here, hold that. <laughs> I only want to show this one because it was kind of neat. You turn it you turn into go like ghost. Oh, they're the weird cat looking things, I guess. And you can attack with it, which is kinda cool. But yeah, I would I I would love to play this more. Do a full playthrough maybe. Is that hurting? Yeah, a very tiny bit. Um, I don't really have anyone to play co-op except for my daughter, who I think would love this game, but I don't know if she would want to play a whole playthrough of it or anything. But then, that's one thing, too, the way this is set up that's kind of nice. You can be switch from single player to co-op and all that in the middle. There we go. So, I might do that and see if she wants to play part of the time. But if anyone wants to see it, if not, I, I would recommend checking it out. It is $5, usually indie stuff I usually just show free stuff but there's been a lot of work into this like I said everything in it was created by the developer from the art to the music to the coding and all that uh, but I will put the link down below if you're interested in oh and there's also a demo so you can play I think the first level I don't think it's the first painting I think it's the first level but you can get a feel for the controls and you know the power-ups and stuff like that see if you like it uh, but anyway, thank you for watching. As always, like, subscribe, and shares are always appreciated. And I hope you have a great day.